Good morning, boys and girls. What I want you today for kids to, cap to do for Kids Capsule, and before I do that, before I even say that, once again, you notice that I am doing this Kids Capsule in the Kids Clubhouse. Yay! Well, boys and girls, what I want you to do is find a coin. Like, I have this coin in my hand. This is actually a quarter. But if you can, get from mom and dad, go to your piggyback, get a coin, press pause on the kids capsule, go get a coin, and then I want you to hold this coin in your hand like this because we're going to talk about rendering unto God or giving to God what belongs to God and giving to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. And we'll talk about what that means in a little bit. So go get your coins. All right, great to have you back. Well, boys and girls, I want to give you what we could call trick questions. Trick questions are questions where we think we know the answer, but the question is worded in such a way that there's a different answer. So, for example, boys and girls, here's a trick question that you put on your thinking caps because these are really hard. Number one, what will live if you feed it but will die if you give it a drink? Now that sounds like a trick question to me. What will live if you feed it but what will die if you give it a drink? The answer, boys and girls, is a fire, right? If you feed a fire, if you put more wood, that's called feeding the fire, it'll live. If you give it a drink with water, it'll die. See, that's a trick question, isn't it? What about this one, number two? Listen closely. Mom and dad, you can help on this one. What do you call someone who doesn't have all of their fingers on one hand? Think about that. What do you call someone who doesn't have all of their fingers on one hand? And the answer to that is normal. Because none of us have all of our fingers on one hand. See, I've got fingers on this hand and fingers on that hand. Another trick question, right? And then thirdly, think about this. All right, what goes up and goes down but never moves. That's a trick question. How can something go up and something go down but never move? And the answer to that, boys and girls, is the stairs. Stairs go up, stairs go down, but stairs never move. Now, why am I talking about trick questions to you? Well, the reason I'm doing that is because there was a group of people called the Pharisees, and the Pharisees always tried to trick Jesus with questions. And one time they came to Jesus and they had a coin kind of like this, except it was a Roman coin. It wasn't a, the United States of American quarter, but it was a Roman coin. And they said to Jesus a trick question. And they said, Jesus, is it lawful or should we pay taxes to Caesar? And what they were doing is they were giving Jesus a trick question. Because if Jesus said, if Jesus said, yes, you should pay taxes to Caesar, then they would trap him because the Jewish people believed that because there was a picture of a man on the coin, just like we have presidents on our coins, that that was, a, was an image and that was forbidden. But if, if Jesus said, um, no, don't pay taxes to Caesar, then they could get him in trouble with the king. So it was a trick question where if he answered yes, he could be in trouble, and if he answered no, he would be in trouble. And what Jesus did instead is he said, give me a coin. So they gave him a coin and he asked them the question, whose image is on here? And they said Caesar's. Just like on my coin, I have an American president. And he said, you give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. And you see, in every one of those coins that, that we have in our hand, if they are an American coin, they will, they will say um, these words, United States of America. You see, that's to who this coin belongs. And Jesus said, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, 
but give to God what belongs to God. And that's the part I really want to focus on today, boys and girls. Give to God what belongs to God. And one of the things I believe maybe the most important thing Jesus was saying there is when you think about it, what belongs to God? What belongs to God more than anything? And I think the answer to that is you do and I do because only me and only you are made in the image of God. So just like this coin that's made in the image of a president belongs to the country because we're made in the image of God, we belong to God. Let's pray that we would live like those that belong to God. Lord Jesus, thank you and help us to know what is yours. Lord, we pray that you would help us spend our hours in acts of love and our days in doing kindness. May we always obey you and give honor to you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bye, boys and girls, and don't forget to give that coin back if it doesn't belong to you.